welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. My name's Alexandra and today I'm here with Little Darling's Rubber Stamps and their gorgeous new Christmas collection to show you an inspiration video to create your very own partridge in a pear tree. So I have lots of tips and techniques that you can put into your own card making to give you an even better result. So let's get started. So our first step is to create those beautiful pieces we're going to put behind our partridge. These are strips of matte gold cardstock. I cut them three inches wide, which I worked out was about right for our project. And first thing you want to do is cut one lot of um, the pieces. So this is the die from LDRS. It scores it all and cuts everything for you beautifully. You can just pop these pieces out here like this. And then to line it up for a second one, I find it's easier to take this end one here, so this end piece, and if you move it all around on here, you'll find it kind of locks itself into place. You can also line it up a little bit if we um, grab our craft pick, I can get rid of some of those little pieces. So this piece here, you can also just line up on this reverse side and you'll sort of feel it click into place. That's the only way I can really describe it to you. I have a piece of post-it tape here that I'm going to uh, hold it down with and I'm just going to die cut this second one so that we have two strips like this. So now I've cut my second one out. I did a little bit crease in there. That was my error. I actually had the end of my cutting pads there. You don't want to cut to the end of your cutting pad if you can avoid it. Now I'm going to snip this down so I have a little bit of a tab to stick on at either end. So I'm going to just cut those on there. Let's get rid of these smaller pieces, like so. And now we want to adhere this together. So I'm going to take some Tonic Funky Tape and I'm going to trim off this one here so it's straight. You could use your um, paper cutter if you wanted to, but there's a good line for you to cut in the groove of there. And I'm gonna add some tape onto this piece. And I'm going to stick this on like so, so that these points match up here. Don't worry too much about the bottom, you're not gonna see that. You want to make sure these side pieces are aligned and that this point in here matches as well. And now we're going to put this into a circle. And I don't know if this is gonna be the right length, we'll work that out as we go along. So we're gonna make it almost like a party crown. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to just trim that little bit off of here like so and I'm going to marry up those points so I'm going to marry them up here like that and then you want to concertina so all we're going to do is we're going to just put those extra creases in there and I'm going to work my way all around the piece Concertinas, I have my pointed pieces with the detail on the bottom there and all you're going to do is press down. How easy is that to do? And I pre-cut using my scrapbook.com basic circles, some out of some red glitter paper and also out of some green. Uh, this is the Lawn Fawn Noble Fur cardstock and this is what we're going to use to create the base for our card. So to stick them together, first of all I'm going to use my Tonic Funky Tape Runner on the Noble Fur piece because that's just nice and easy and it'll stick perfectly. And then I'm going to use some Elizabeth Craft Hair Tape. You want a strong adhesive for this part. So I like the particular hair tape, I find it's nice and strong and nice and sturdy. 
And so I'm going to stick these pieces on here. And first of all, I'll take that tape off so that I'm ready to go. So I'm going to press this in and now I'm going to put this on the top and center it up until I am happy with it like that. And then we're going to press down like so. And that is our central piece. Now the next thing we want to do is our partridge. And I have pre-cut from the LDRS partridge dies. One in the matte metallic gold, the same as we made this piece in. And one in some craft cardstock to layer underneath. Our first step, now you could have put double sided adhesive on. I forgot to do that step. So instead I'm going to use some tonic tacky glue. This is from their funky glue range, just like the glue runner that I use. Gives you a nice fine application. So when I start squeezing here, you can see it starts to come out. This also perfectly works with the craft picks. Of course, that's from tonic as well. So I'll link both those things up for you, but just stick that craft pick in and you'll all of a sudden feel it start to give and then you're ready to go again. I'm going to start on a larger area just in case I get a larger piece and then I'm just going to start putting some dots down like so. You could also use something like the quickie pen but I do particularly like this adhesive from Tonic and I'm just really light squeeze and I'm more just dragging it out here like so. And now I'm going to pop my second partridge, the gold one, on the top. And I find it's easier to just pick them up and slide them as appropriate. So stick those hearts together and just sort of pinch between finger and thumb. You can then use something like a wallpaper roller or a brayer if you need to over the top or even just run it through your die cutting machine. But I'm fairly happy with how that's come out and just that extra layer gives it that bit of dimension. So again, I'm gonna pop that same glue on the back and I'm gonna go around here very lightly because I don't want any to squelch out. If it does squelch out, it does dry clear. So you're not gonna particularly see it, but we want to minimize that where possible. Again. Um, if I had thought to put some adhesive on the back, it would have made life easier. But we don't always remember to do these things. So I'm now going to stick that onto here. And I'm going to leave it a few minutes to dry before we adhere it to our card front. to go. You saw me put a little bit of uh, hot glue in the middle there that just seemed to hold it in place perfectly so that it didn't change in size or anything like that and I want it to be nice and firm for when the recipient uh, gets it at Christmas. So this is a piece of craft cardstock 12 by 6 inches wide that I folded in half of my card base. I have a piece of the LDRS Christmas paper and I've cut that down to five and a half inches square. It also has some really nice dark pieces on the edge. So I actually took a quarter of an inch off of each edge so it didn't look lopsided when I put it onto the card. So I'm centering this up with some tonic funky tape. I've already popped some Elizabeth Craft Design adhesive on the back here and I'm just going to peel off that backing layer. A little bit more difficult on the corrugated pieces, but what I did was, I, at the ends, I've just stuck it down onto whichever uh, fan piece is there, and that just makes it a little bit easier to get the peel off, the release paper off. So I'm just pulling that off, and this one's a little bit more difficult. 
like so. You could also use your hot glue, but I do find it tends to buckle the inside of my card a little bit, which is why I've chosen to go with the ultra strong uh, Elizabeth Craft double sided tape. So I'm going to now pop that down onto here and I'm going to center this up the best I can, like that. And there we have a gorgeous Christmas card. You could either pop this in a card box, which you could create using a punch, or you can buy them on Amazon and things as well. Or alternatively, you may prefer to um, give this in person and then maybe wrap it, or again, you could still put it in a box, or maybe on top of a gift in a box as well. But a stunning card. And Maddie also came up with a great idea while I was making this, of making it double-sided and it would be a gorgeous hanging ornament, or something to put on a beautifully wrapped gift as well. Thanks so much for joining me here today at LDRS. All the pictures you see now are available on the blog to add to your Pinterest board so check that out as well. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button or stamp it if you prefer and I will see you again very soon in another video. Happy stamping! Bye! I also just wanted to mention that I added some pearls on those hearts on the trees and that one red pearl as well in the middle. I felt it just really offset and gave that extra detail I needed and I just wanted to mention it because I know you can see it in those pictures. Happy stamping. Bye.